Well, folks, we have the original Avon Inn, which is the HO one, next to the giant O-scale one that I built uh, with Howard looking over uh, my shoulder while doing it. And uh, this HO one is, I guess, about 10 by 22 inches. Almost exactly. What's that 10? It's, well, it the actual uh, diorama size here. Yeah. And then this O-scale one that is going on my O-scale layout is about 14 by... 38 inches probably it's yeah it's it's big so and we had this we have this on the channel for sale um you can go to my playlist and you can click on for sale items and you can see the video on this these are not inexpensive but they are one of a kind exquisite pieces they take a tremendous amount of time to make and if you want an ho scale one we have the ho one and let me pause this video, Howard, because I'm going to drop something. And we've got the O-scale one. If you high rail scale or O-scale people want a custom built O-scale one, well, that's what this is for. This is a going on my O-scale railroad, but Howard, we can build this, you know, at any time if you want one of these built, you know, yes, we can. in, in O-scale. And what I, being a student, I was worried what color to paint this. And I'll tell you a little side story. Howard suggested, he said, look, this thing would look incredibly good brown. And, and, and one thing you've taught me, Howard, is never judge art till it's done. And for the longest time I'm working on this thing, I'm thinking, God, I don't know if the brown is going to look right. I don't know against the beige. And then I started second guessing myself on the roof. And I think we were going to originally paint the roof maybe uh army green or something but but then you said no yeah yeah and uh kind of like your hat and then howard at the last minute howard was like you know what this would look so much better with an anvil gray roof and i did it and i'll tell you howard i'm so happy with the color palette it, I, i'm a, and thanks thanks to you kind of pushing me in that direction i was veering off in color i kept doubting i got to a point where folks i had this thing done in stain and i'm like man i should repaint this howard it's not well, going to look what right i did i mixed my own stain that's a combination of hundred line gray uh-huh uh, and, and uh light brown right the one i did so and this is actually a medium brown and it looks beautiful yeah it really came the out those kind of pop out mine are kind of faded into the color mm -hmm. so i'm not it still looks okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with the color. And then on the roof, used the uh, did a video on taking sandpaper and putting the mortar lines in. That's on the channel you can watch. You can go just go to the my playlist, click on how to do it videos, and you can see a video I did on using sand to create the mortar. And again, this thing's not cheap, but if you want one in, H, in O scale or HO scale, we can build one of these for you, and we can do different colors, different... What colors would be good for this, Howard? Uh, well, I told you, every shape and design has a color that's optimum. Mm -hmm. However, there are other colors. Now, originally, if you can remember driving down my road, these houses were all designed to be brown. Okay. And there were various shades of brown that looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. Over the years, yuppies moved in millennials, and they changed some of the houses to pink. Some was... Uh, Verde and green, some are yellow, <laughs> some are white. And it looks like crap. But I still live here. I don't give a shit. I don't you know, I don't walk around anymore. Right. But it makes them happy. But uh, this could be white. It could be gray. Mm -hmm. It could be a lighter brown. Mm -hmm. And it could be oxide red. Oh, yeah. Of the shade. Mm. Yeah, just really interesting color Nothing palettes. Mm. Folks, if you want to have one of these custom built for you. Contact me at the alpug one at Verizon.net and Howard and I. Well, it's still a work in progress. Cause yes. A lot of the staircases aren't in yet and so forth. And the chimney caps. Chimney I, caps. I need to put the chimney caps on and finish up around back. But I need to get it out of here because our space in the shop is pretty tight. And this thing takes up a lot of space. It takes a lot of space. And However, I should mention this was a training exercise for you. And I'll grade you a B plus on it, which oh, is pretty excellent. high because I'm very tough. Yes, you are. And I'm and I, my disciples I give D's or C's. <laughs> yes. <so> I'll give you <laughs> <laughs> Let them work harder. 
The yeah, thing man. about EOL is you absolutely live this stuff. You love it. Yeah. And that's important. Yeah. If you don't love your work, get the hell out of it. Run as fast as you can. Right. you got to love what you do. Now, it's a, I talked about the retirement. Now, I had a pretty large business, which I sold in 1987. And uh, I was 49 years old. And kind of, kind of frankly, I was a little too young to retire. Mm -hmm. So I asked myself, maybe I'll practice what I preach. Because I always said, when you retire, retire into something, uh, be it an avocation or a vocation, but it's something you really love. Now, if you love what you're doing, shit, don't retire. Just keep right. doing it. It's, uh, it's crazy. Right. It's, it's, as long as you're happy. But, you know, the kind, my business was that the tail was wagging the dog all the way. I was much happier when it was just myself and a few helpers. Mm -hmm. But when I sold the business, we had about 35 employees. Wow. And a hell of a nut. My weekly payroll was about 20000 a week. And a lot of times I spent trying to borrow on my receivables. And I just got tired of it. Wow. So finally I had a chance. I had a buyer. Adam went. But I retired into the brass business. Because when I said it, it's something I love. It's something I know. Right. Now, if you're going to invest or buy something sort of as, as an investment that you're going to do well with, right. there are three, three things you need. You need control, which is important. You need thorough belief in what you're doing. Right. And you need thorough knowledge. Right. Now, I had that in Brass, so I started the Pyramid Division, a.k.a. BrassTrainings.com. Right. Until I sold it in 2005. Why did I sell it? Because I found that most of my stuff that I was selling was going overseas. Mm -hmm. So I got tired of filling out customs forms, packaging it. And uh, then I found that like, certain places on the planet, like Indonesia, I, I mentioned this the other day. These people understand, a lot of them understand the meaning of chargeback. In other words, they'll go to the yeah. credit card and say, hey, I didn't want this. you got to be money. careful. And they don't send the model back. Mm. Yeah, you got to so be. So I got tired of that, so be careful. Yeah, got to be really careful. But Europe and, and Asia, uh, Australia was not a problem. Well, but I got tired of doing this, so I got into the Pyramid Division of Sony Press. And I still do this. I love doing this. And you're the same way. You love what you do. Yes. So you retired into this. Yes. And you did retire, what, last year? Yes. Look what you re look at your life now. Yeah. You yeah. weren't happy what you were doing. No. No, I was happy with my business, but it was, uh, I was just got tired of it. And so, yeah. Well, Howard, thanks for helping me with this. And, you know, folks, you got to be happy with what you do. No, and... you got to be ecstatic. And I, I'm very happy with it. I'm proud of it. And this is a display piece. Like I say, Howard, we're... We're going to have these units on display at my house, which is 10 minutes down the road from Howard's house. So if you're a serious client, you want to get on an airplane, you want to drive down here, you're going to be able to see these O-scale structures and an HO, their HO counterparts. Oh, sure, get down here Don't and... Don't forget a tour of the layout. What's that? Don't forget a tour of the layout. Right. You get a tour of the layout, and I'll give you a tour of my layout. It's nothing is nothing like your layout, but yeah, we've don't got... Don't forget the coffee. It tastes like somebody washed their schmeckle in it. <laughs> <laughs> I should say their feet. But I wanted to do these two buildings together, folks, because, you know, in all the buildings, and I love I love all the designs I've been building here with him, and, you know, being a part of. I, if I had to pick two favorite, I would have to pick the mansion, and I would have to pick this this hotel. And again, folks, if you're if you're interested in this, contact me. They're not inexpensive, but hey, nothing is, you know, that's that's super quality. And Howard, I appreciate it. Okay, let me add one thing. Sure. There's something you taught me. This, these this idea, I don't know how prototypical that is. All right. But this is brilliant. These are straws. Right, party and straws. I never thought of that. And uh, the water tower on the top of this thing is exactly right. Yeah, it's H O. Yeah. Well, I know that. Well, actually, it's N scale. Okay. That's that scale water tower. Okay. But, uh, well, H will be a lot bigger. However, see, these things were used for water pressure. The water would come from a source inside. Right. But you need pressure to build up to keep the things running. So wow. that's what this is for. Also for fire suppression. Right. So this, so the water comes up this way. And, and under here... I'll have an exit pipe. Yeah, have an exit pipe. Yeah, you're going to add the exit pipe on the outside. It looks good, but it's not necessary. The exit pipe could be inside. Right. Mm -hmm. And like I say, folks, it... I really agonized building this, mm -hmm. worried sick about, man, I don't think the color is going to be right. And Howard really grilled my ass. Don't touch it. The color's fabulous. Believe me, if he doesn't like something, here say, this looks like shit. And <laughs> you better stop doing it, redo it. And it meant a lot to me that 
I mean, you were like, really, do not mess with the color. I'm telling you, this is going to look good. And, well, and, and it looks, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic with it's it. A, it's pretty simple, actually. It's, uh, you did, like, really, as I said, a really nice job. Uh, there's a few things. Actually, consider where you are. Now, you've built a beautiful model railroad, and you have experience in this. Your only problem that I see is Ogapach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You Ogapach things up. <laughs> We're going to teach you that. Good taste. Tasteful, <laughs> tasteful, tasteful. Less is more. Remember, if you're taking a dump, you sit there on the pot and you say, less is more, less yeah. is more. You don't read a, a Playboy magazine. You just constantly keep saying, less is more. And eventually, you'll learn that. Yeah, man. Now, I, some of the layouts. Remember you did a, a, a brief thing on Scott Nichols' layout? Yes, yes. That was the epitome of how to do a layout. It was beautiful because you had long areas and not everything was overcrowded. Yeah. The structures were like, oh, you went from town to town, even though it was small, but it was great. And my layout, well, I can't comment on my layout, but it goes from town to town. And that's the way it should be designed. you got areas of, of just scenery without structures that the train will run. That's prototypical. Right. Run between cities. Howard, I appreciate it. And folks, contact me at lpug net if you're interested in any of these buildings. Thanks so much, Howard. You're quite welcome.